Yeah, no, those two players are NFL caliber players. They are players who know the game so well, know the different coverages, every little thing about football. And being able to be around them has been such a blessing. And just their little insights that they give, especially before this last game against Baylor, you know, their confidence in me and, and being able to look, look them in the eyes and, um, and have their confidence in me as well, uh, just gave me that extra boost. And, you know, some, got something Gunnar said right before was, you know, it's just football. Like, you've played this all your life. Like, go have fun, go play, play your game. I know you can do it. And that was probably the biggest thing that helped me that game, just having fun going and playing football. So those two have been a big influence on me. So they give you more advice than just, hey, don't drop any passes. Exactly, no, they <laughs> really get into my life and uh, really care about me, and I love that. It's been a minute since you've been in the end zone. It has been. So walk <laughs> us through that touchdown grab and yeah. making sure your big toe got uh, exactly. in just before halftime. Yeah, no, I knew we needed a spark going into halftime uh, to go up. And, you know, I knew whether it was me, whether it was someone else, that we were going to go down and score. And when we called that, you know, that go ball in the end zone, that this was my time and I was going to make that play. And I had full confidence in that. Me and Jaron repped that play in practice and was able to, you know, perfect timing. And, um, I knew that, you know, that Heavenly Father was there and, and his hand was in there as well. Um, you know, throwing that ball is perfect timing. Everything happened for, for a reason. I'm grateful for that. And I just wanted to, to glorify him as well. So some divine intervention? In that process. Baylor yeah, might have thought that there was a lack of divine intervention <laughs> on that. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I definitely, you know, felt that, um, that you know, we, we, we needed to win this game. Um, and to put BYU on the map and, and show that we can compete with these top 10 teams. Now, that was your first touchdown mm -hmm. since the 2018 high school been a while. state championship yes. game at American Fork. <laughs> yes. Uh, how long did it feel like it had been? You know, the, the days obviously go by, um, go by slow, but it, it flew by, you know, these past four years. And just grateful to be back at 100%, feeling, feeling uh, healthy and ready to go. But... It was definitely long, um, but also it, it, it's been, you know, a, a quick journey, and it's been awesome to, to be back on the field. Worth the wait? Worth the wait, for sure. You played football your whole life. Yes. Have you ever thrown a touchdown pass in a game? Definitely haven't thrown a touchdown pass. I don't even think I've thrown a ball in, uh, in a game before, so, <laughs> so having when, it be a touchdown is pretty amazing. Who hatched up the idea, and how long had you practiced that with Jaron before the game? Yeah, so it was, it was about two days into the Baylor, you know, Baylor week, and we implemented this you know, trick play, and they had all the receivers kind of throw one pass. That was kind of our tryout that we had, and I threw a good spiral. So they put me in and had me, <laughs> so I kind of got the, the job. job. I won the job, so, um, but I was, I was confident, you know, we repped it a couple times and um, knew that, that it would work, that Baylor was an aggressive defense, that they'd bite on that, and everything worked out perfectly. So you break the huddle, yeah. you know what's about to happen. Uh -huh. They have to bite for yeah, this to work. Exactly. Uh, and they hand you the ball. Uh -huh. What's going on in your head? I mean, I, I definitely saw a lot of guys rushing at me, so I knew I had to get rid of the ball pretty quick. Baylor's that aggressive, you know, nosy defense that wants to get you. So I just kind of pump faked and, and knew Jaron would be wide open and had all those blockers uh, for him. So Was it an easy throw him. or did it feel like us? <laughs> it was more, it was a little lighter than I probably should have. I probably should have zipped it a little more, but I knew <laughs> that all with all those blockers that I could just throw it up and Jaron would make the play. He actually has really good hands. I think he could be our you know, eighth, ninth receiver on the team, you know. <laughs> it doesn't work out at quarterback, no, he can move No, he can definitely over. run in there. And then you two get back together on the sideline, what do you say? Um, we were just happy and uh, like it was just an embrace, you know, let's, let's keep going. Not really um, a lot of talking, just more like, okay, let's keep it going. A lot of game left, let's, um, you know, that, right. that bond, yeah. It was an emotional game. It was very you got emotional. A, one of the better kickers in the country yeah. goes out, misses two field goals, yeah. back to back almost, with chances to win the game on mm -hmm. both of them. Mm -hmm. And he comes back to the sideline. What's going on down there? You know, we have all the confidence in Jake Oldroyd. He's been here for a while. He's one of those veteran leaders. And people make mistakes. That's part of football, it's part of life. And we all knew the awesome thing was this team is so tight. We love each other. And when he came off the field, we had no doubt in our mind that. Like, next play, let's go. We, we forgot about it, didn't put any, didn't put Jake down at all, and it was cool to see the team gather around him and just love him, especially 
you know, Jaron Hall at the end, being able to embrace him and, and yeah, having... let's, let's talk about that. Yeah. The fans are storming the field. Yeah. Euphoria. You yeah. just won the game. Yeah. And, he, and here's this quarterback who's mindful enough to seek out Jake, mm -hmm. embrace him and hold him and keep him there yeah. long enough for Jake to understand that it was going to be okay. What, what does that say about your quarterback? You know, he's the, he's the leader of the team, and he showed that, that he's going to pick up our guys no matter what. Win or lose, he, he loves us, and that's huge. And it all starts with our head coach, Kalani Sataki. And his leadership has bled down into to our starting quarterback, Jaron Hall, and it's been, you know, it gives us that confidence going into every game, you know, with or without Gunnar Puka, our best players, that we can take on the best teams and, and go win. When Puka and Gunnar are back to full speed, yeah. they join you, Keanu Hill, uh -huh. you got Cody Epps, you got Braden Cosper, you got Terrence Fall. Yeah. This is this is quite a room of receivers. What's it like being in this group? It's it's pretty amazing, a pretty special experience. And to have, you know, Coach Fessy Satake with you know, leading that group. It's it's a cool dynamic. Everyone has their own little thing that they bring to the the meeting room and we all just get along super well. And there's there's a joy that comes with that in, you know, not just playing football and getting down and dirty, but actually enjoying these meetings and going out on the field and trusting the guys next to you, no matter who's out there. You know, there's eight, nine guys that could go out there and we could all be confident that they'll make a play. There's a good chance that you are the only player in college football last week to catch a touchdown that speaks fluent Tagalog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Serve your mission in Alberta, Canada. I did, yes. Uh, that's the native tongue unique. <laughs> uh, where your assignment was. So yes. give us some Tagalog. For sure. For Cougar Nation. Will do, yeah. Cougar Nation, uh, those who speak Tagalog, uh, excited, excited na ako na maglaro sa Oregon. At mananalo kami. Uh, mahal ko kayong lahat. Good luck today. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm not sure what you said, but I'm sure it was meaningful. <laughs> it was. It was from the heart. <laughs>